So often when I pull up to a gas station, I'll have an 18-year-old kid come up to me and say, oh my gosh, you know, how'd you get a Rolls Royce like this or the Lambo or the Ferrari or the i8 and how did you make your money and what did you do? And they have no idea what happened prior to it for 18, 20 years of making decisions. So finally I said, what I tell these 18-year-olds, these 19-year-olds, I'm gonna make a video of it so you can know exactly since many of you are graduating from high school, if you have a friend or a kid, somebody, share this video with them. Look. Probably the best advice I can give you is there are certain things you have to take your time in. You got to take your time in the following six things. One, marriage. Take your time. You're still learning what the word love is. You're still learning what you want and what you don't want and who to date and who not to date. You may have a boyfriend you love right now. You think you love right now, but 10 years from now, he's going to have three, four qualities you do not like about this person. Take your time. You may have a girlfriend you love right now, but take your time with marriage. Take your time with kids. Take your time with buying a house. You may not live in the place you're at. You may get an opportunity six months, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months from now. We can move to a whole different place. Take your time with buying a house. Take your time with your inner circle on who your friends are. Many of your current friends will not be your friends five, 10 years from now. And if you're not too careful, many of them will hold you back from getting to exactly where you want to get to. Believe me, it wasn't easy me having to tell some of my friends to stop calling me on Friday nights and Saturday nights that I'm no longer going to the clubs. I made them very upset, but I wanted to go to a whole different place. Take your time with your political beliefs. Most of your political beliefs are different. It'll, it's going to be very different when you pay $100,000 in taxes and you realize who is really working hard and capitalizing off the system that you have in your country and who is not. And last but not least, take your time with your life purpose. My purpose took me a long time until I got, I got clear on what I wanted to do. I see so many people trying to get everything right now, especially with the social media world that we're living in, but take your time in those areas. Take your time. Now, what areas you shouldn't take your time in is the following. Don't take your time learning about hard work. Go learn hard work. Learn what it is to work 80 hours a week. Go learn about hustle. Go learn about studying people. Watch everybody. Study everybody. Study your parents. Study your cousins. Study that uncle of yours that does so good and at the dinner table. Don't say anything. Just watch him. Ask him questions. When you work with a guy, a CEO that's doing very good, just ask him. Watch how he handles meetings. Watch how he handles in certain challenges, issues. Study people. Your entire game is going to be studying human nature because if you're going to move up, you're going to deal with the number one product in the world, which is people. So study people. Study communication, how you relay your message to everybody. Most of your life, your parents, your kids, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your customers, your investors, your business owners, your boss, you're going to have to learn how to communicate. Learn how to communicate fast. Don't take your time on learning how to communicate. Get that down now. Study yourself. Study what you like. Study what you don't like. Study what kind of people to rub, you rub you the wrong way. Study what kind of people you get along with. Find somebody you want to model. Find Find somebody that's way ahead of you and say, oh my gosh, I just love watching this guy, how he handles himself. Find a group of people with certain ways they live and model them. And by the way, as far as experimenting, let me give you one thing I would tell you to stay away from 100%, and that is drugs, alcohol. Stay away from any man-made drugs and alcohol because they mess with your mind. And the most biggest thing as I'm telling you all this stuff, when you see the life, people say, how do you live in a 15,000 square foot home? How do you have this business? How do you have all this stuff that you're doing? It's the period from 18 to 39, the decisions that were made during that period. It's purely a combination of decisions. I've made a lot of bad decisions, but I was lucky enough to take my time in marriage, in kids, in my purpose, in buying a house, in my circle, in my political beliefs, because I was in learning mode. I wasn't ego to say I know everything. I was in learning mode. And then obviously th things became more solid, strong foundation. I was able to get exactly what I wanted in my life. Because I took my time with those six things, and I was very urgent with the other things that helped me get to where I'm at today. So again, if you're from high school and you're about to graduate high school right now, this is what I want to do, which I want you to watch the video, the one-page business plan. Mario's going to put the link below. Once you watch the one-page business plan, I want you to write it up and tweet me, at Patrick B. David, the fact that you have your one-page business plan with your cell phone number. Three of you, I'm personally gonna call you, we're gonna have a 15-minute conversation together. Three of you. But the first thing you gotta do is go watch the one-page business plan video, write up your one-page business plan, Tweet me at Patrick Bede with your phone number and three of you, I'll personally call you and have a conversation together about what you could do next to live the exact life that you want to live. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>